Okay, well, how are we live and we didn't have a commercial? <laughs> no, but for commercial. I did tell you the DC promo started the show. Oh, oh, girl. Did I not say the audience? Uh, and then the PSA. Hey, y'all. We'll be right back. <laughs> what up? Uh, Hey, we'll be right back when we get it together. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Is you live? Is you live, ho? Oh, are Ooh. you live? Oh, yes, honey. The Queen's Supreme uh. is bringing the seat to your city. Uh. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We need you to stop what you're doing ready. right now and get over ready. to www.defitright.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Washington, D.C. Now, don't you sit around here and wait for those tickets to sell out because they're going to burn up fast, honey. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Funky Daniva Ross. New York Tiffany Parlor and T.S. Madison is about to come and shake your city down, baby. That's right. Don't beat me there, bitch. Beat me there. <laughs> See you soon, Lord. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the car, honey, and the spirit of the ever-living God has just moved over me and told me that it's somebody out there that got a business, a product, honey, or something that they need to get exposure for. Now, y'all know that the Queen's Supreme Court is touring the nation right now. Our next stop is Washington, D.C. on November 12th. Get your tickets, get your tickets. Now, listen, if you want to be a sponsor of any one of our live shows and have your stuff exposed to hundreds of thousands of people, please hit me up at booktsmadison at gmail.com. That's booktsmadison at gmail.com. Dot com, honey. And listen, if you try to nickel and dime, that's what you're going to pull in, nickels and dimes. Be ready to spend your money, honey, for some good promotion, good exposure. Don't come with the nickel and dime because we don't even get down like that. Now, we'll take your nickel and dime, but we ain't going to give you but nickels and dimes back. <laughs> Hit me up. We find it. We live again the right way. God damn it. Is we live again the right way. Oh, nobody don't know yet, right? <laughs> okay, well, since don't nobody know, I guess the audience will tell me after I hit this motherfucking shit right here. Hey! <laughs> bitch, what it is? So fit! Wait a minute, you know what time it is? It's time for me to fix a drink just to splash, uh, bitch! That's the motherfucking splash!
that. You had been telling Vincent what to do since 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'm like, girl, see, that's why I'm telling you, girl, you're going to have to get you some white folks on your side. <laughs> well, listen, if I guess, I'm, I'm going to be like Stacey Abrams, honey. <laughs> I'm doing all black right now. She don't say black, she say color. She say color? Yeah. These glasses are a little too little. How you doing, Sophie? I'm good. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you good? You sure? I'm all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen's Supreme Court! Oh, oh my God, we are back on the bench, honey. We have, Sophia, we've been on the road. Y'all been gone? We, you, the, you our first guest back. I want to say this out my oh. mouth right now. Thank you so mother freaking much for coming to be our guest judge tonight. I'm the season opener. You the season opener, bitch. Hold up. All right. Okay, right, y'all. <laughs> <Roger. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for my co-host tonight, my guest judge tonight, Miss Sophia McIntyre. <laughs> Sophia, let me tell you something. I've, I've said this on our pocket, but these titties so big. How you? How do you work when I have a big titties, girl? I just don't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, I want to say thank you for coming doing the show. I'm a big. I am a huge fan of yours. You are one of the readers, bitch, that reads for Phil. But you know, you done got kind of saved, so you ain't reading heavy, heavy like you used to. You just praise God and keep going. No, I praise God and keep going. When I read heavy, heavy, it's just that I have to know when I can do it and when I can't. And tonight, all bets are off. All right, bitch! <laughs> yes, ma'am! Please, y'all, <laughs> y'all motherfucking Sophia of the reader. Like, that's the reader, bitch. Round of applause again for Miss Sophia, bitch. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right. And thanks for inviting me. Oh, honey. Yeah, I'm a fan of yours, too. Been watching you for years. You've been supporting for years, coming to the show. That's and right. All that. That's right. That's what you do. You know, black. That's what black on black operated. Yeah, then you came into your little change, girl. You still came to the show. I still support you. Yeah, and you know, I got a low for you at the end of the night. Ow! Hey! Torture! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to the cheese. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of getting to the cheese and black owned and operated, ladies and gentlemen, our show would not be possible if it was not for the wonderful sponsors that we have here in Atlanta and all over the place. So tonight we have two magnificent food sponsors. And our first sponsor that we have tonight is the Slutty Vegan in ATL. Ladies and gentlemen, the Slutty Vegan is just what it is, a slutty vegan. <laughs> <laughs> These burgers and fries and, 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 and things are amazing. Slutty Vegan, come on up here. How y'all doing? Hello. Hi, baby. Hi. 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 I come bearing gifts. You did? Yes. Did. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to be slutty with no meat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta taste it to find out. No, you gotta have some meat. <laughs> you don't want to taste it. So what y'all eating right there? This, what y'all about to eat? This is the one night stand and a fussy hussy. Oh no, I'm trying to get married. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know. Listen, if you chomp down, and this is all vegan. Everything is vegan from top to bottom. Well, listen, when we got a lot of bottles in here vegan, it's gonna be a shitty deal tonight, man. <laughs> 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 It's gonna be a deal tonight. I'm like, my cousin, speak for yourself. <laughs> top. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait. This isn't me? No. All vegan, 100%, from top to bottom. The bread, the cheese, the burger. Uh, you don't like it? Yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs>
meantime, you can catch us on the food truck. Um, our Instagram is Slutty Vegan ATL. On tell Twitter. Her, tell Slutty her. Vegan ATL on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We post our location every day at 3 o'clock. Get there early. We have about 300 people in line every single day. That's true. It's worth the wait. We got That's the best so vegan good. cheeseburgers in Atlanta. These, is, it, these burgers is A1. Like, no yeah. shade. These burgers is A mother. You said it first. They is A1, dog. Like, I would not have believed that this was not a man that I had slumped by the skin. <laughs> <laughs> me, um, me, me, uh, me, me. This is good. Uh, so, is burgers the only thing that you made? So we do shrimp too. We do a vegan shrimp, um, and again, uh-huh. everything is vegan. And the reason why the movement started is because there's there's vegan restaurants, but not a lot of good vegan junk food. Right. And I really want to have the directive to really like guide people to a healthier lifestyle that it can be good and it don't have to be. Different. Oh, so this healthy? So I mean, so it's I healthier than the average. I so it, I, so I won't be I won't get no no diseases and things from meat diseases. No. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: Do y'all do cat? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I might just make some catfish for you, Miss Sophia. <laughs> but we do, um, we definitely have a seafood option. This vegan shrimp tastes better than the real thing. Like, you can't even tell the difference. The food is really good, and it's a lot of love that we put into it, a lot of good energy. So that's why we get a lot of people coming out, and I'm just so grateful to be here. Thank you so much. And this is black owned and black operated. Black owned. It's in the heart of Atlanta. In, in the, the heart, heart of Atlanta. 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 All right. Hey, baby, let me tell you something right quick, honey. Keep going. <laughs> around with your truck, you start in the kitchen, you got your truck, you got a restaurant, get you some good white people to help. As she go, y'all, as she go with the bullshit, as she go with the goddamn shit. Bible said water come before the struggle. You already see what Vincent did to this one. Oh my God! Thank you so much, baby. Thank Make you. sure you mind it because I don't know what Sophia mouth did. Don't have her. <laughs> well, I'm the one should be worried. <laughs> <laughs> Let me write my name on the side of my just to make sure. And let me just put mine on the side. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Sophia, you ain't going to keep that burgers up there like that. We got some cases to liberate over. Uh There you go. You gonna keep that burger up there? Girl, now don't try it like this is a real court. <laughs> <laughs> like you sitting up here drinking and I'm sitting up here pur- advertising for Stacey Abrams. <laughs> this is a real court. Make sure you And vote. then you open the show up with a titty dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's our court story, <laughs> You remember this? <laughs> Like Bruce Jenner. She did. She did. I don't 
she is still Bruce Jenner in heels. <laughs> <laughs> no balls, no, no balls. balls. <laughs> so what are we going to sentence Bruce, uh, Caitlyn Jenner to tonight? Because we, we can't, we, we're not going to add to any of the transphobia. And we're going to respect her and, and refer to her as the proper pronouns is what she lives by, whether she voted by those pronouns or not. <laughs> we're still going to respect her. But I need to sentence her to something. We got to sentence no walls, no walls to something. I think we should just sentence her to yeah. life as Bruce Jenner. <laughs> 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 next case. All right. Next up on the court ledger, we have Megan, Megan Kelly. Mm. Megan Kelly, you're being charged with wanting to be a black woman or man <laughs> and making a joke of it. She was fired over blackface comments, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's demanding $50 million sell up. When did this happen? Yeah. She got, uh, because she made a, uh, she said that it was okay for somebody to do blackface. And so then, you know, she was on the contract with uh, CBS, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they said that, you know, the people start, you know, complaining about NBC. her you know, standing behind the comments that she made. So then she apologized for the comments, but the comment, the people st kept complaining. But like, what I like about this situation is because they, CBS brought Megan over from Fox News, and they had Tamara, Tamara Hall. Remember Tamara Hall? Uh -huh. She was with CBS. And then they brought Megan over and pushed her out. So then... Uh, now they're dealing with this, and it's going to cost them millions. Now she's saying that she wants $50 million because her contract was like, I think, like $100-something million. Okay. So now she wants the rest of the money that's due under her contract. So I mean, listen, when you get a book in, when you do get a book in, and they, they fuck up on the date and the time and the situation, you still want the rest of your money, right? Yes. I don't think she deserves the motherfucking thing. But the thing know. is, in her contract, it already states that your contract, yeah. when you sign to a television show or a radio show or any big contract like that, they already state that if you do anything that makes the company look bad, then you still represent the company, and the company has a right to fire you. We have, so, we have the audio if you want to hear So it. is she forfeiting her contract right now? Is that what's going on? No, that bitch ain't forfeit nothing. She don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> we have some audio here. Is it possible, Vincent, that you can run the <laughs> that footage, please? Cross your fingers. <laughs> Dress like a moron. But, well, what, but what, what is racist? Because but, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on yes, black face yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, back, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. I, if somebody like, feels like something is offensive to them, then you should say it, and that's fair game. Yeah, and and you should be able also, to take it if you're going to dress up like yeah, that. Yeah, you got to be able to take it. Yeah. One of the things they mentioned is people dressing up like Nazis and this. If you think it's offensive, it probably yeah. is. Yep. Yep. And one of my big complaints just about society right now is, Whatever happened, and I know how you were raised. I don't yeah. know how you were raised, but... That's questionable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whatever happened to just manners and polite society? But on Halloween, on no, Halloween saying, you've got guys running around with no, fake axes coming no, out of their what, head. No, but what I'm saying like, is... Like, you're gonna, you're gonna be... It's gonna be jarring. Right, but what I'm saying is, in polite society, one someone who's raised that would not think that dressing as a Nazi is okay. Yeah. I don't know. Like, look, I, I don't need the PC... Or painting somebody... I mean... Oh, bitch, you ain't fired. You fired, fired. <laughs> 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 bitch, you all the way fired. Yeah, it wasn't with CBS. It was at NBC. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, NBC. I mean, do you think she got her just dues or what's the tea? Well, yeah. And then it's just like, you know, they get away with stuff and people feel like that it's okay to just say what you want. And just like, just like John Rivers' daughter just said right there, <laughs> if something is offensive to someone, then take it as that. And if you think that it's offensive, then just go along with you think it's offensive. Just... You know, just accept Just it. like we talked about earlier when I asked you, did you agree with you with me calling you she? And I was, you was like, no, sir. And I was like, well, that don't offend me, sir. And, we, you know, we served each other, but we keyed about it. Right. That wasn't offensive to me, but it probably took offense to Craig because, you know, Craig is a woman. Hey. I tell everybody, I think you have to, you have to treat each individual on an individual basis. Just because something don't, doesn't offend me, somebody in the same lifestyle, in the same community that I'm in, it may be offensive to them. So you have to ask that person, is this offensive to them? Right. Okay, all right, so we're just going to go ahead and sentence her to be hung by the neck until she's dead. <laughs> all right, <laughs> next up on the court ledger, the white woman in Charlotte that harassed a black resident has lost her $125,000 a year job as a result of the viral video. $125,000, I'm white and hot. 
I'm white and I'm hot. I'm white and I'm hot. So what about I'm white and I'm hot? Please, can you roll the footage? I'm white and I'm hot. Make sure that there's nothing going on. And why are you hanging out? Where do you live? I'm with Liu. Where do you live here in this place? Aaron, Chef, do not entertain her, please. No, stop. No, it. please do. Because I want to get this on film. Yeah, we where got do you, you play? on film, honey. Because this is, this is Myers Park. This is South Park. Girl, 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 Chef, girl. Ma'am, would you please leave us alone and go home? I live here. Go over I pay, there then. I pay almost. I pay rent too, so please. What do you pay? And I'll, you I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Jonathan know what you pay. Whatever. Just leave it. What's going alone. on? What's going on here, babe? Ma'am. What's going she on you here in this parking lot yeah, that you feel that you I need to come right I don't want to drop my... Well, if you guys didn't see the full extent of the video, the video continued out. I, I don't know why Craig didn't get the rest of the good oh, parts girl. of the video. Um, <laughs> But once again, it's Craig is black. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> the woman was stating that she's white and she's hot. Yes. I'm white and hot and I make $125,000 a year. Mm -hmm. I'm white and I'm hot and I make $125,000 a year. <laughs> I'm white and I'm hot. I'm white and I'm hot. I was like, bitch, okay, if you white and you hot, just throw a barrel of grease on her motherfucking ass and fry her on up. But see, the problem that I have with this video is a lot of people like this woman. They feel like they can say and do anything and be themselves, really. They've always been these people mm -hmm. that they wouldn't display that in public. But now since we have, you know, who in the White House, they feel like it's okay to be white and hot and talk to us. <laughs> Wait, so what she was? White and hot and talk to us. White and hot. And I don't promote violence, but until somebody busts one of these motherfuckers in the face, <laughs> they're going to continue to do it. So somebody gonna have to stand up and knock you bitches out. <laughs> so you gonna be hot in your eyes. <laughs> you white in your eyes. <laughs> you white in what? White in your eyes. Hey, wait a minute. Let's do it for the one. I'm She's white, white in the eyes. <laughs> knock that bitch out. <laughs> So in, re in response to that and all of the things that's going on in this country, I know Craig got a minute of this video. We have a, 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 a we have a video, some video footage from our very own Black and I'm Hot, Niecy Nash. Can you roll the footage, please? She's black and she's hot. You're scared. You're white. Calling 911 on your black or brown neighbors just isn't what it used to be. Hi. I'm Niecy Nash, actress, inventor, and advocate for not calling 911 on black people for no goddamn reason. I'd like to introduce you to a radical new product that will save you all the headaches of being filmed and outed as a racist douche. It's called 1844 White Fear, and it's revolutionizing the way racist white people cope with black people living life near them. Our experienced staff have been living while black in America their entire lives. That is actually your neighbor Michael. Our records are actually showing that's actually his boat. Yeah, I know, black people have boats too now. A regular Frisbee or ultimate Frisbee? Call it when black people are having a barbecue, mowing the lawn, golfing, shopping, and so much more. 1-844-WHITE-FEAR is a real number. Call today. I'm white and I'm high. <laughs> but you're gonna be white and high. <laughs> well, I mean, that was our PSA from Niecy Nash. What did you guys feel about that? I love it. Yeah, I love we love that. We love that. All right. Well, it, obviously, us loving that still does not remove white privilege. Because there's a man that was caught, a customer was caught double dipping at the soup bar. Is this, this is why I don't like buffets. I don't like that golden corral. <laughs> I don't like them Chinese buffets. I don't fuck out with them buffets. I know I know a lot of colors like the buffets. They like them on Sundays, after church. Sometimes right before, right before they have a slutty vegan burger. Right. You they know, love the buffet. They love the buffet. Because they save money. You do. And right now, it's a good time to be saving money. Yeah. Everybody just can't eat good and eat steaks and everything like you and Miss Mary. Right, because we're white and we're high. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it is, sometimes if you know, you guys need to pay attention because you might run into some privilege like this. Please roll that footage if we can. <laughs> you can talk because no Oh, what's going on? He's standing at the... Oh, my God! He's, he's oh, my God! 
Oh my God! And he's gonna put it back in there. Ah! He's not finished. <laughs> he's not finished. That bitch had him a bowl of cress soup. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? <laughs> he, he said she's having the cress soup. I'll have the cress soup. <laughs> Sophia, that was disgusting. It was very disgusting. But you know what? It's just like you can. Who can you trust? We don't. We go to Waffle House. We don't know what the cook is doing. We go to. You know, churches, we don't know what the cook is doing. So every time you go and you eat out, you take the risk at something like this happening. But what did he think his white ass was? That he that was, was that Whole Foods? He was just really that privileged to just go there and take eat Whole Foods, yeah. But no, I think, I think he's, he's, he's smart because he stood there and he ate it right there. Had he tried to get it and go out of the door, they would have charged him with stealing. But they had no proof. <laughs> they had no proof that he ate it. <laughs> oh, they got proof right now. On the camera? They do. And but and that's what's fucking white folks up. That the camera phones is out here in full mm -hmm. effect doing the things that they do. Catching them doing the shit that they do. But I think that was caught on the store camera, too. <laughs> but then, not only that, if you have these buffets and stuff set up like this, why do you have an employee that's standing right there? If you <laughs> have a right buffet there, or something right there, you have an employee standing right there to monitor it. The gag is, that could have been the employee tasting the crack soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the gag is, if that was the employee, then you need to give him a raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what we're going to go ahead and sentence him to, we're, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and sentence him to death by souping. <laughs> I want him to be doused in that whole bottle of soup until he's gone. Ooh. It's death tonight, bitches. Goodbye. It's Halloween, bitch. Let your soul go to rest. Ooh. All right. Now, speaking of having your filthy hands all in food, we have another sponsor tonight, which is Cakes by Keon. And we're not talking about his gluteus maximus. We're talking about his <laughs> soft cakes. He accepts E.B. motherfucking tea. And listen, you don't find many places that accept E.B.T. here in Atlanta. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> was I gonna say that wrong? EBT here in Atlanta was. Do you find many places that accept EBT in Atlanta? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can even play the lottery in some places with your EBT. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, Case by Keon has came all the way here, and he would like for you to run your EBT card through our system. Mm -hmm. Keon, please come on up here, honey, and see. You 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 got oh, some what's up? Oh, oh. Hi. So I got two items. Squat down, you know you tall. Oh, ooh, okay, there we go. So the first item is, this is a sweet potato pie with a pecan pie on top. Well, girl, somebody ooh, already ate it. That white man <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> So, white man so they, they don't really have to see this one. This has um, a Hennessy topping on it. So uh, that one is really good. I'm okay. Come on with these cupcakes. Girl, but baby, these cupcakes. Okay, Craig, put this over to that white these man. These are pink sluts. With an upgrade to the efficient, efficiency hotel. Efficiency. Yeah, but wait. That's you said wait. You a top right? So these might not be for you. All tops get fucked. But go for oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, Sophia. You look how your eyes went down on that. <laughs> you hollered though. Yeah, I okay. did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold on, wait, cause. Okay. The production scared me for a second. Yeah. So these are pink okay. slugs with small oh, penis, oh uncut penis, mm. uh, almost. This what you get for EBT? Ooh, the EBT baby. know they like some dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to taste one of them, Sophia? No, I'm good. I'll taste one later. I'll go ahead on a butt, let one bust in my mouth. Yeah, you got the smallest one. That's right. <laughs> you know, my hole ain't been touched in so long. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, Sophia, wait. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Craig, put me two of these aside. <laughs> but she ain't that on <laughs> So yeah, just um, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Cakes by Keon. Mm -hmm. um, Google us, Facebook, same thing. And we do accept EBT, um, not for liquor-infused product, though, just for regular cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Georgia. You're top of bottom. Uh, oh. What you Ooh. want me to be? Ooh. Oh, okay. She said, do you got the How much you got? How much do you have? Huh? How much you paying? Am I paying? Oh, I ain't paying the company paying. That's all on my EBT. This was good. Thank you, Keon. Thank you for always being our special sponsor. Yes. That dick was kind of chewy. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to the next thing of the night. Let me put my glasses on. Mm. And she put some old glasses at the tip of her nose. Yes. And she ran out there and she jumped up and she shouted Jesus two times. But when she jumped up the third time, something got a hold of her. She couldn't sit back down. She ain't playing this time. She ain't playing this time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> vote Stacey Abrams for governor on November 6th. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. November 6th? Yes, that's 6th. it. November 6th, vote yes. Stacey Abrams for, for governor. This is the side that I have chosen. On the court ledger, we have Cardi B oh, and Nicki Minaj. Oh, yet again. Mm. I know you love Nikki. I do. And I love you Cardi. Do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I know. Think Cardi gonna whip that whole ass though. Hold on now. We ain't got no word from the jury yet. We ain't got no word. We ain't got no word. We ain't got no word from the jury yet. Yeah. Okay, now, as you know, mm. they'll edit again. They edit it ain't never stop. <laughs> But sometimes they they get off social media. I'm going to let you go ahead on. Go ahead, Sophia. You go ahead on it. I'm going to go say my little piece, and then I'm gone. Well, Nicki Minaj, she took to her radio show, <laughs> Queen Radio, and again, she talked about the beef with Cardi B. Now, Cardi B had alleged some things that happened, and Nicki Minaj is accusing her of lying. But Nicki Minaj was going hard on Cardi B on her Queen Radio show. And like I told everybody last time, when Nicki Minaj was trying to throw a rock and hide her hand, when Cardi B went off on it, then when she went back to Queen Radio, what was Nicki Minaj's statement? Y'all keep acting like it's funny. She needs some help. This is serious, and y'all need some help. I don't know, y'all need to help her. And now, and now she's back, poking the bear. But that's the same person that you said need help. Now you're going back and you're pumping the bell. So it's just like you had a CD to drop. Your CD didn't sell. <laughs> you're on Queen Radio. That's you're not, not on tour. Yo, so it's just making it look like Safari was right. Safari mm -hmm. was right for mm -hmm. leaving you. And the things that he said, the reason that he said he left you, mm -hmm. looked like he was telling the truth. Okay, well where, where, well, where are your facts into the situation here? Because we're, we're, we're looking for facts here. in the statements that you're making. The facts are... Nicki Minaj, get on there, and y'all see how she's acting. So she is the fact. She's all the fact that we need. She's the reality that we need. Okay, so we're not going to deviate from the fact that... Now, I like both of the ladies. I do. <laughs> I like both of them, too. I like too. both of the ladies. I, I love Nicki, and I like both of the ladies. However, this started... This Okay, last last night... Girl, you sound so convincing. No, last <laughs> night... Hold on, I got on my glasses now. <laughs> Okay, last <laughs> night, night before last, Hennessy said, Hennessy, which is Cardi, Cardi B's sister. sister. That's a good drink. It is, <laughs> with, with Coke. But <laughs> Hennessy said that Cardi B, uh, or excuse me, that Nicki Minaj leaked her phone number and now they're making threats to, to culture and Cardi. What's the culture? The baby. Culture's Cardi's baby. That's a name? That's the name, culture. Okay, this is my thing. So, yeah, we are Nikki fans here. Yes, we are. We're Nikki fans. We're Nikki. We, 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 but we, we are not going to deviate from the, from the situation right. here. But he's not going to sit up there and act like he don't know who culture is. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to deviate. We ain't got to lie. We're not, Everybody know who culture we're not gonna is. Sit, we're not gonna sit are they in the court? <laughs> <laughs> now, allegedly, Nikki has been accused of stopping bags. Nikki's been accused of releasing phone numbers. And, and I follow him. I follow and yeah, I follow <laughs> and watch Nikki's page and just, I haven't seen any leakage of nobody's phone number or any any other things. You know what I'm saying? And I have not seen it. Okay. <laughs> Why did Hennessy jump up out of the blue if this was leaked? these many th months ago. Like, and it's been, what, two months? Mm -hmm. and, and why is it all of a sudden a situation now? I don't I don't understand it. But let there, me help you understand. There is a, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me help you understand. Don't understand this, Sophia. Help Just me. because, help because I'm into entertainment. <laughs> Just because Nikki didn't leak it or there's not evidence right. that Nikki didn't leak it, it doesn't mean that Nikki didn't have something to do with it being uh -huh. leaked. She has people that work for her. Just like a lot of people didn't see OJ kill Nicole Ooh. and Ron Goldberg. But a lot of people still that he had something to do with it. Right. Nick Minaj, same way. 
Go ahead. Yeah. But are you saying this? Allegedly. Are you saying this because you are not a Nicki fan? I am a Nicki fan, but I am saying this because it is though Nicki Minaj. The, everything that she's accusing Cardi B of doing, doing everybody that. said that she did to Little Kim. Mm -hmm. So Allegedly. now it's just like every time the new is getting ready to take mm -hmm. the stage, the old has a problem with it. Whereas everybody yeah. always talking about when my time is up, I don't have a problem with walking away and stepping away and let the new generation have the stage. You know, because I. I have groomed them, so they're just gonna carry on my legacy. But when it's time for you to walk away, walk they don't want to leave. Okay, so we're not. But gonna, to so hold away. on. So we're gonna go away from the fact that that Atlantic has been trying to get women to pit, pit women against Nikki. Are we gonna go? Are we gonna negate that? that, that no, is but we're not going to. We're not going to sit here and act like that. This is the first time that it has happened. This has been going on in the industry, especially in the music industry, for the longest, and. I'll just stick to music, because when we talk about music, we, we just stick to music. But it's been going on in with the actors and the actresses as well. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we know. Well, the ladies the ladies have been going back and forth on Twitter. We have some uh, some snippets from Queen Radio that uh, uh, debuted today. Please, Let us please. play some of the sound bites from mm -hmm. Queen Radio. Come on, Queen. Really, really beat Cardi's ass bad. Mm. Like, really bad. And I'm not trying to, you know, and I'm not trying to be messy. You went home and told people that security hit you. And we let that lie continue because of legal reasons. I told Ra, don't tell anyone you hit her because I don't want nobody trying to sue me. Because they you got your family saying that I need to control my fans, but you're not controlling your family when they're calling me saying I'm on stage looking like a crackhead. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Cardi okay, has Cardi has responded to that. Cardi has responded to that. Here we go. This is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh, yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there's going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. I'm now. Uh, all right, so this has been going back and forth all day. Nicki Minaj yeah. uh, stepped into the shade room and she said, stop trying to distract everyone about the fact that you lied about Raw beating your head in. Baby, we get all, we get all, we all get deals and turn them down. Same with songs, dummy. Little Mix has been trying to get me on a song for seven years. I finally found one I love. Yes, I pass on G Easy. What's your point, baby? Have you ever written a rap? Thanks. Nikki also stated the only rapper in the history of rap who can only talk about deals and songs she supposedly turned down because she can't talk about a verse she's ever written. Fucking fraud. Nicki Minaj also stated, I'll pay you to take a lie detector test about every claim I made on Hashtag Queen Radio. You won't. I must admit you're a convincing liar. You looked me dead in my face and said you told your man not to do the No Flags video because I was dissing you. London on the track got the same call. Ladies and gentlemen, I here at the Queen Supreme Court I, I don't know about you, Sophia, but yes. I, I, here at the Queen Supreme Court, I'm really exhausted. And with this situation? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. Put them hoes in the rain. Well, and it's just like, now, you're the Nicki Minaj fan. You love both of the ladies, but you really love Nicki Minaj. So I tell me this. Some of the people that are running around with Nicki Minaj that are in her camp now, aren't those people from uh, Remy Ma's camp? No. Well, who are you speaking of, Rob? That's my girl. It's Rod. Did Rod used to be with? They were friends. Okay. <laughs> so now they're saying the report was coming out allegedly <laughs> that Raw is supposed to be on Nicki Minaj's security team, but she is going around saying that she's Nicki Minaj's friend. 
They are friends. They're friends? Yeah. So she's not a part of her security team? Watch. Well, Nikki has her own security. She don't. She's just a friend. <laughs> All right, well, here's my conclusion with the situation. I'm exhausted with it. I just, I honestly do not want this to turn into a Biggie and Tupac situation. Mm. I do not want this to happen between the two ladies. I do, I don't. What? And what I want the ladies to get in the booth. Okay. Battle it in the booth. We already know who's going to win that, though. Cardi. Cardi. Cardi came right. She got people writing for her. Oh, so she's Come smart on. enough to have people writing for her. Whitney Houston did Whitney Houston did right. <laughs> And look at her now. Oh, I'm going to uh-uh. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. You're not going to get with me too much. <laughs> what you not? Give me my crystal ball, Craig. <laughs> crystal ball? Give me my crystal ball. I call Whitney right motherfucking now. Oh, no, man. You talking about the crystal ball. You better get that pistol. <laughs> so I call Whitney right. Paula. Oh, my God. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. Oh, she sleep, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney. Uh uh, no, she don't know. No, the wrong one. Hold up. Wait, oh, she coming through me. She oh, coming through me. She come. Oh, she wit. <laughs> My God. Ah! My baby. Bobby! She gone, y'all. It was that quick. She gone. She called about it. It was quick. She gone. She said, leave her alone. She got in there real quick. She gone. Leave her alone. Don't fuck off with Whitney. Put that crystal ball back over there. I'm sentencing Nicki Minaj and... Not too much. I just want Keep to it I'm sentencing Nicki Minaj. Put him in the ring. Keep it I'm sentencing Nicki Minaj and Cardi B to the Battle of the Booth. Queen Nicki. Nicki. It's just what it is. Girl. And if you ain't gonna battle in the booth, I'm sentencing them to one on to the ring. I have to respond to the artist. Well, no queen, queen Nikki. Queen Nikki. You're correct. She queen is Nikki. the queen. Cardi is the princess. Oh. Me! The younger one. I still ain't picking there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sentencing them to the to a booth battle. Girl. Booth battle? Booth battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next case. That's all I'm doing with that. Get rid of this. I'm over it. <laughs> what I'm not over is this motherfucking Dr. Phil. Oh! Tiara, a.k.a. black girl who is white girl on the inside with nappy roots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are being charged <laughs> with disgrace to the color community. <laughs> Please, Vincent, roll this footage. <laughs> take hood rat serious at all so i don't i'm not gonna even pay her any mind if i've been white since the day i've been born then i'm still white now and i will be white every day i wake up most definitely there's nothing out here that can change my opinion not some hood rat telling me you don't know what you're talking about or not, not sure no do you do you I think don't... that's becoming to you well i don't know why she do was you think to... that's flattering to you to do that do you think i mean that i'm just telling the truth you? i'm not lying well I'm not, i didn't want to ask you i feel like it's becoming of me to tell the truth so, yes, I, do, I think exposure is important. And so I would absolutely invite you to come and shadow no, me in Atlanta you. so that you could actually meet and understand what amazing black women look like no, so you. that you can learn your black girl. Yeah. No, I don't believe in going in a room full of <laughs> so I would never do something like that. Sophia, I just want to open up with something. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to open up with what I'm saying. I'm hot and I'm white. <laughs> I'm hot and I'm white. I'm black and I'm down. Go ahead on, Sophia. Take this away. I just want to say. Uh-huh. You are one of the blackest of the blackest <laughs> of the blackest people I have seen trying to pass yourself off as white. A lot of times, people like this, they do things like this because they know that we will be discussing it and it brings attention to them and we make them stars and celebrities. Mm -hmm. She know goddamn well <laughs> she ain't nowhere near white. Okay. She is black as they come. And everybody sitting there trying to convince her that she is black, it, it's something wrong with us. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like we sit up there arguing with, we sit up there arguing with the truth. Like, mm. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm white, okay. 
<laughs> so it's a case of mental illness. No, nah, that ain't even mental illness. That's just a case of ignorance. <laughs> See, See, y'all can't y'all can't keep labeling everything mental right. illness because the now. people that are really mental ill, they we, take, we take the shine away from them. No, that bitch just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's but just it, like when I walked in here tonight. What did <laughs> what did he tell me tonight when I came here? We was trying to work on the lighting. He said, you're the what darkest, did he tell me? He said, you're, like, the, you're the darkest guest we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that light-skinned nigga told me. <laughs> <laughs> and you stood behind it with your fist ball up, but yeah. I still hit it. Yeah. I said, knock his ass out. <laughs> yeah, it's trying, but sometimes it's just like, try when folks say, you say, I'm 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 white. No thank you. No thank you. They just sit up there with a perm. <laughs> Do you know when white people get perms, it curls their hair. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you have a perm and your hair straightened out. Use a nigga. <laughs> Use a nigga, dog. <laughs> Say it again, man. Say. Use a nigga, dog. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, oh, what? Right. Use a nigga, home what? All right, but listen, the, the, real, <laughs> the real people that are being charged in this situation is Jerry Springer, Lauren Povich, Bill Cunningham, and Steve Wilkos. You all are being charged with being the slave masters, mm. the modern-day slave masters. And we, African-American people, some of us, the mm -hmm. ones that want to be seen, are falling in under that. These bitches is the longest show runners on mm -hmm. television. Jerry Springer done been on for about 20, 30 years almost. Lori Povich. These shows are built off of black mm -hmm. people running around. Who is my baby daddy? <laughs> <laughs> they fall on the floor. Uh, transgenders on there fighting with me. All the majority of it is is colored, mm -hmm. <laughs> black and brown, <laughs> lower class. Mm -hmm. EBC. And not only hey, that, hey, Keon said don't give EBD too, EBD too much. He, he accepts it, okay? <laughs> and not all that, when you think about this story, what I think about the the, the white lady that said she was black. What's her name, Rachel? Rachel Dozer. Yeah, she, oh. said she, she said she was black. And she lived her life as a black woman. Then her family came out, baby. You know, she looked black. She's not black. She's not black. So now this girl is like, oh, well, if she could do it, let me do it. Let me try the opposite. Copycat. Well, my thing is that the weird that the, the people that are charged here is Doc is is Doc Jerry Springer Moore. Jerry Moore. So what I'm gonna sentence them all to is to also be hung from the neck until the dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving right along. Ashanti. Hold on, hold on bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you keep hanging on these white folks. <laughs> bitch, I ain't gonna have no job tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna neck until you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> You knew when you was coming, Sophia, goddammit. Yeah. Next up on the court ledger, Ashanti, you're being charged with uh, not charging. <laughs> <laughs> Ashanti's concert was canceled after selling t only 24 tickets. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Um, okay, <laughs> so you know the background of this story, right? I'd like it. Okay, the background of this story is uh, Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor was slated to do the concert. However, she pulled out at the last minute. So then they got Ashante to do it. And they didn't have, like, they only had like a week or so to advertise that Ashante was going to fill in for her. So they really couldn't promote that she was going to be there. So that's why the ticket sales were so low. So you mean to tell me they couldn't come up with no ticket sales? And if that's a shot, they need to step their motherfucking social media game up. No, that's the Yeah, but listen, they can't go to their Instagrams and Twitter and Facebook. She ain't having an album since 99. But listen, right, when last time she had... 99. She can't sing. What is this? Did y'all say she can't sing? Can we roll some footage? Wait. Oh, oh my God, 50 Cent? 50 Cent bashes a Shante and Ja Rule. After R&B concert was canceled due to low ticket sales, 50 Cent said Ashanti. Oh no! 50 Cent said Ashanti show canceled after only 24 tickets. So wait a minute. I thought I told everybody not to fuck with this fool. I want the names and socials of everybody who bought a ticket. Now get the strap. Listen. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, this is really this this stuff really has sparked me to. Step my pussy up, you know. And I, I, I'm gonna go ahead on a 
It's a, oh, it says 50 Cent said do basement parties, then it can still feel like it's lit. I don't know what to do. Hey, hey, 50 Cent, don't you dare talk about the basement, bitch. <laughs> Get up out of here. You welcome down here in the basement anytime, any place that you want to. You know. Okay, it's a lot of movement going on down here in production. I don't know what's going on. And then it says 50 Cent also buys 200 front row seats to do a Ja Rule concert <laughs> off of Groupon so it will be empty. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> no, he did get the seats. He bought 200 seats and the seats were down front and, you know, no one in the seats. But, you know, Ja Rule still got paid because he paid $3,000 for those tickets. He right. did. That's that's sick, man, though. 50 Cent, you was an old messy, shady queen. So what yeah, we going to do here at the Queen Supreme Court? We are crowding you, honey. <laughs> and those ticket sales yeah, please <laughs> let us run this promo right here and yes that is shade washington dc is you live is you live home? City down, baby. That's right. Don't beat me there, bitch. Beat me there. <laughs> See you soon, boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, honey, get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets. We have definitely sold more than 24 tickets. <laughs> uh, right along. A man drives all the way to another state to cut off his ex girlfriend's new boyfriend's dick. Sick man. That was sickening. That is sickening. What is love? Yeah. Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. No. What are we going to do about this? He said, if you can't beat him, join him. So he, so he wanted his girlfriend's boy, new boyfriend to have a pussy too? No, he just wanted her to know that they, if you like this dick, I'm going to make sure you have it. Ooh. That's it. What you mean? He, <laughs> he went. It's his ex. Uh -huh. Her ex, right? He drove down there. He he traveled from Georgia to Illinois to cut his new boy his ex's uh, new boyfriend penis off. Yeah, so that means that every time they in the bed and he's doing it and he thinking he's satisfying her and she and she calling out her ex name. So he in his mind he like oh you like that's the dick you like all right. They <laughs> drove down there and he got it. <laughs> all right, so he did a Lorena Bobbin on it. Yeah. So he's free to go, right? <laughs> yeah. Free to go. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got word here that the that the Titanic 2 is set to sail in the year 2022 and will travel the same route as the original ship. <sighs> listen. Listen. <laughs> Listen, if y'all ain't moved that glacier from 1912, ain't no reason for y'all building that same ship traveling the same route. If y'all ain't fixed that glacier out there from 19, that same glacier still there. Yeah. Yeah. Why in the entire fuck y'all ain't learned nothing from Titanic 1? Uh -uh. No, but you know this time, you know what's going to be different? going to be some more black people on there. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of them don't know what happened on the Titanic. <laughs> All they see is a big, nice ship. <laughs> Ooh, that look better than Carnival. <laughs> right. And you know what they could be saying? If they could see you now, I own a Titanic cruise. You're eating fancy foods and doing what you do. How about your friends back home to get a good look at the Titanic Carnival? that you took, all I can say is, wow, <laughs> look at where you are. I bust your poly cow, they'll never believe it if your friends on Titanic now. <laughs> Bitch, if y'all ain't moved that glacier. <laughs> but I would tell you, but I would tell you,
tell you this. Now, in the original, how many people survived? A few. That many right there, what you say? A few. But on this ship, I bet you every goddamn black person that get on there <laughs> gonna survive. Gonna make it back to land. <laughs> Come yeah. here, look. Black white folks, when they hear something, ooh, ooh, you know that damn horn, they're supposed to be blowing now. So when black folks hear that, they're going to already be out there and they unhook that life and all that. They go. Listen, we just got word that it's going to be a Tom Joyner cruise. <laughs> <laughs> show with our one gotta motherfucking go. Mm. And tonight we're doing iconic black mothers. Oh. We got Claire Huxtable from the Cosby show. Oh, oh yeah. We got Florida Evans yeah. from Good Time. Yeah. We've got Aunt Via from the Fresh Prince of yeah. Bel-Air yeah. and we got Harriet Winslow from Family Matters. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia, you're going to have to write this on the back of your paper. I'm going to tell you who's got to go for me.
Washington, D.C. Is you live? Is you live, ho? Oh, are you Ooh. live? Oh, yes, honey. The Queen's Supreme uh, is bringing the seat to your city. Uh, That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We need you to stop what you're doing right now and get over to www.eventbrite.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Washington, D.C. Now, don't you sit around here and wait for those tickets to sell out because they're going to burn up fast, honey. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Funky Daniva Ross. New York Tiffany Parlor and T.S. Madison is about to come and shake your city down, baby. That's right. Don't beat me there, bitch. Beat me there. <laughs> See you soon, boy.